When you think about advancement in science, the first thing that probably comes to mind is the scientific revolution in the 16 and 1700s with the development of the scientific method. Or maybe the golden age of science in the first half of the 20th century when quantum physics and general relativity dominated popular culture. Or perhaps you think of the industrial revolution when machines and assembly lines transformed a primarily agricultural world into the modern factory-based world we see today. But there are a few other notable time periods that were just as significant that aren't brought up nearly as often. A prime example would be ancient Greece. The Greeks had a few notable inventors that built some quite remarkable contraptions that, even after 2,000 years, are still in common use in today's society. Here are some of those inventions that we still see around today that have origins in ancient Greece. The time period around 515 BC in ancient Greece came with a modification of the crane for construction purposes. Although the crane had already been invented supposedly in ancient Mesopotamia with the purpose of lifting water, the Greeks gave this tool a much more significant purpose. One modification the Greeks made was adding a winch, which is a device used to adjust the tension of a rope. This, along with the addition of a pulley hoist, allowed men and donkeys to lift objects up to 150 kilograms or 330 pounds. Cranes of this nature would continue to be used for centuries until the dawn of the hydraulic powered crane by William Armstrong in 1850, which is the kind of crane we know and use today. Just like cranes, water-based clocks had already been invented prior to ancient Greek civilization, dating back to as early as the 16th century BC in Egypt. This kind of clock consisted essentially of a bowl and a nozzle. A tiny hole was made at the base of the bowl and water would slowly flow out of it. The bowl had grooves on its interior which would indicate how much time had passed depending on how much water had flowed out of the bowl. Before ancient Greece, however, clocks were not that commonplace. This was changed when they were made much more accurate and convenient by Greek physicist Tishibius of Alexandria, who lived around 270 BC. He improved the clock by adding more vessels to the contraption, making the flow of water much more precise and therefore allowing for a much more accurate measuring of the passage of time. He would also add a siphon to his device so that water would not need to be dumped or refilled. He would improve the clock further by adding alarm systems to it. There were two methods Tishibius invented. One involved dropping pebbles onto a gong, and other would involve trapping air inside the clock, building up the pressure and timing the release of the air through a vent to make a whistling noise. The improved water clock by Tishibius was so precise that a more accurate clock would not be invented for another 2,000 years when the pendulum clock would be invented in 1656. Another ancient Greek invention still used today is the automatic door. This contraption was invented by Heron of Alexandria who lived around 60 AD. To open the door, a fire would be lit at an altar. The hot air produced from the fire was siphoned into a vessel of water. The increasing pressure in the basin pushed the water through another siphon into another basin. This third basin was a part of a balance system that operated the gears of the door. As water entered the basin, the increasing weight would turn the gears and open the door. The automatic door was not the only invention by Heron of Alexandria that would withstand the test of time. He was also responsible for another clever idea, the vending machine. The first primitive vending machines were actually used to dispense holy water for the ancient Greeks at their temples of worship. When a citizen inserted a coin into the machine, the coin would land on a pan attached to a lever. The weight of the coin would cause the lever to open a valve that would dispense the water. The coin would continue to sink further and further until it would fall off the pan at that point, the pan would rise back up and the valve would close, ensuring that every citizen would get approximately the same amount of holy water. This invention, as clever as it was, was not improved further until the 19th century, where it would be used to dispense items such as newspapers and stamps. There is some debate over the inventor of this next invention, the odometer. 
Some say it was the work of Roman military engineer Vitruvius. Others credit the odometer to Heron of Alexandria, and others even to Archimedes of Syracuse. This early contraption worked via a large mounted wheel and a lot of pebbles. The contraption was pushed by hand, and as the wheel completed each revolution, a pebble would be dropped into a container. By counting the amount of pebbles in the container and multiplying that by the circumference of the wheel, the distance traveled was able to be calculated. The early odometer was a key tool used by the Greeks to help build their roads. Regardless of its inventor, the odometer was, and still is, a very useful invention found in every automobile today. As far ahead of their time the Greeks seemed for those inventions, they pale in comparison to these next ones. They could be considered thousands of years ahead of their time for the invention of the first robot and of the first computer. The first robot is accredited to the ancient Greeks, although the specific inventor is unknown. The first robot was known as the automatic servant of Philon, and was a humanoid mechanism that would pour wine for citizens. To use the contraption, a glass would be placed in the hand of the servant. The weight of the glass would open a valve inside the servant, and wine would pour from the opposite hand, which was holding a jug for aesthetic purposes. As the cup sank further down, the wine valve was cut off and another was opened, this one allowing water to flow. This would let wine drinkers choose how dilute they wanted their wine, and when they were satisfied, they would remove their glass from the servant's hand. The ancient Greeks' groundbreaking creation of this first robot is eclipsed only by their unparalleled ingenuity in devising the Antikythera mechanism, widely regarded as the world's first analog computer, shedding light on their extraordinary technological prowess and foresight. Some credit either Archimedes of Syracuse or Posidonius of Rhodes for this invention, but ultimately it is unknown who this contraption originated from. The Antikythera was primarily used for astronomical purposes. Once calibrated to the current position of stars in the sky, one could calculate positions of the sun, moon, other planets, and even eclipses any day in the past or future relative to them. The complexity and accuracy of this first analog computer was unparalleled at its time, and considering how little is known about its origin, it is truly a wonder of ancient technology. Ancient Greece was a time and place full of brilliant minds overflowing with innovative and creative ideas that would have an impact lasting long after the fall of their great empire. If you enjoyed this brief overview, please consider liking the video and subscribing. You could also check out this video if you're interested in more intriguing content, and thank you for watching the video.